Hey Pisces, welcome to High Priestess Healing Tarot, where you are the High Priestess every day. All right, let's see what messages Spirit has for us this weekend. Happy holiday weekend. Check in. When you think about whatever it is that you're pondering, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or heavier? Excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's always so helpful. Pisces, if there's anything that you're dreading, don't do that thing. I don't care what it is. Don't do it. I had to say no to something recently, and I was like, I know this makes me look like a very terrible, selfish person to not go to this thing, but I can't. Just don't go, Pisces. You don't have to go. Your body's telling you not to go for a reason. Patience. Oh, I love this imagery. You're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but you're strong and there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. Have patience. It will eventually work out. Let me tell you something, Pisces, from my heart to yours. Maybe things aren't working out exactly how you want them to because you have too much energy in your aura from doing things and going and hanging out with people that you don't want to hang out with. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I promise when you stop doing that, things are going to clear up. <laughs> One more. I love these cards so much. I'm a sucker for a heart. Let's see. Let's see, I rebranded my middle finger. Okay. Release. Look at that dove. You're being asked to release Pisces. You're being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life. You deserve to be free of all drama. And this is the first step to achieving that. This is so freaking clear. You don't have to go to that thing. You don't have to hang out with those people. Period. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's a baby shower. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know. How could you not? You don't have to fucking go to anything. You don't have to see people if you're tired. If you don't want to, you don't have to, period. And when you clear up that energy, you, it's like, uh, remember last, I don't know what day it is now, Sunday, so Friday, Thursday or Friday, I was talking about energetically dusting and like sweeping the corners. Maybe this is, this is that, is like doing less of what you don't want to do so that you have more time to rest and recharge and then get into a place of like, hey, now I have energy to do something I am so lit up doing. And when you're so lit up doing something, you're in flow state. You're in that channel to source. You get new ideas. You get new creativity. You feel a piece of love or joy or satisfaction or gratitude where you're like, oh my God, this makes this makes so much more sense. We should be doing this more, you know? And that's when you attract big. All right, let's see what's going on. Knight of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, someone that takes action. They are inspired and motivated by the divine. Their fiery energy is a direct channel from source. That's why sometimes they're inconsistent. Seven of Pentacles, are you investing in people who are in and out inconsistent? It's not in reverse, so I don't know how inconsistent this person might be. But they are a knight, so it's like when they feel like it, they go do it, right? <clears throat> or has this been something you're trying to do is like checking in with yourself around when you feel motivated, when you feel inspired to go do something and like taking your time, patience, seven of pentacles is patience, being patient with yourself about that, the moon, but this is a mystery. There's something about your emotions and intuition. Okay. Maybe you are, maybe you are trying to tap into your intuition and how you feel in the moment and if you're inspired you go and invest your time and if you're not you show yourself some grace allow your human and divine energy to work together even if you're not sure if that's the right decision or sure if that's the right path wow look at that empress at the bottom of the deck the ultimate manifesting divine feminine energy embodies the traits of all four queens I love this. Connected to Venus, love, Taurus energy, grounded. <sighs> Some of you have to set boundaries with your mom. I know that's uncomfortable. Some of you are moms and have to set boundaries with your children. And some of you need to remember you're a freaking empress or an emperor. Hello. Hi. Hello. Mom and dad, enter the chat. 
some of you need to remember that you're an empress and we're not. Uh, this night, have fun. Let them worship. <laughs> okay, let them worship and do whatever you gotta do. But that's not a long-term partner. That's a long-term partner. If this is about business or building your business or career related, this is a num this is it. Check in. What lights you up with the work that you're doing, whether it's a side business or your actual career? How can you adjust your energy so that you're saying no to more tasks, delegating more tasks out, responsibilities out, so that that drained energy, you don't have to task switch into something you love with with less. Does that make sense? If you're if there's a, a task or a responsibility that you have that absolutely sucks you dry in a bad way, is it possible for you to delegate that responsibility or task out or like task switch with somebody so you can focus on more things that light you up and fe make you feel good? This is going to be a personal reflection for you. Like you really, um, it might be subtle. I don't know how often you check in about like how drained am I, how energized am I by this task or this person. This may be a little homework assignment, a little spiritual homework assignment, checking in with that because there it looks like there's some mystery here. I'm not sure if there's still... Um, like it's still in the dark, right? The moon. We have the full moon tomorrow, July 3rd. Full moon ceremony tomorrow. We're having a divine feminine full moon circle. So if you are interested in tapping into your divine feminine energy and intuition, harnessing the power of the full moon in Capricorn, we're going to be focusing on shedding that hard, harder exterior shell and being vulnerable with what we're releasing and what we're manifesting. So that we can attract material gains in the 3D. Hello, Miss Neptune. What are you covered in? Yeah. Neptune said she's retrograde. So be careful. Lots of illusions coming to light, right? All right. This feels right. What else we got going on here? Whoa. Really, this really, for a lot of people, this is boundaries with family members and boundaries meaning like I don't want to go to this thing I don't feel good when I hang out with these people or celebrate in this way like whatever the case may be queen of pentacles is a maternal energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn somebody very creative very high vibrational very fertile with ideas fertile with abundance fertile with manifesting more and more and more there may be like a little this person very um very action-oriented in a pure and grounded way, right? And when this person makes moves, it's aligned with the divine or aligned with her inspiration, her motivation, her direct channel to source. And because of that, she attracts a lot of abundance. She like she figured out the cheat code for herself, right? There is like an element of this person used to have anxiety and she transmuted it to be focused and channeled into creating, into manifesting into attracting abundance building wealth building a strong fitness routine healthcare routine um, focused on interior design or making sure that the aesthetics and ambiance of what's around her is aligned with her vibration very very high vibrational ten of cups happily ever after the rainbow after the storm the family the kids the love oh closing out a cycle to begin anew if this see that heart on this patience card <laughs> right um maybe some of you have been manifesting or or putting on the back burner your manifestation for long-term emotional fulfillment and happiness in partnerships and relationships specifically romance i'm going to say something i am a firm believer that your career energy your finance energy your whatever your home energy is like where you spend the most time and what it, what it looks like your body energy how you look at yourself how you talk to yourself all those things directly directly play into your romantic energy as well if all those things are messy and chaotic this is going to be messy and chaotic if you are getting really self-disciplined with your own energetic balance an energetic fulfillment then this long-term happiness partnership romance is going to get cleaned up even if you're not focusing on love you're just focusing on your energy when your overall energy is cleaned up this is a lot easier it's one of those things too where it's like whether this is you know career or friends i feel like friends are a really good example of this um 
whatever you say yes to in energetic friendships, the universe is going to give you more of that. So if you're finding that you have a lot of codependent friends around you, and somehow you release them, but you still attract codependent friends, that's something worth looking at and exploring so that you can tweak and modify it. When you start saying no to that or anything you don't want to, and yes to what you do want, the universe is going to give you more and more of what you are putting out into the universe, into the ether. Neptune agrees. Hi, Jupe. Okay. It does look like love is here or potentially coming in if that's something that you want. If there's like resolution in the family, they're saying be patient with that. Even if you, you know, you set a boundary, you don't go to something and then people are like, oh my God, they're up in arms. Be patient. Things are going to work out. It's supposed to be what it is. Four of Pentacles. What are you? Hmm. That's interesting. What are you holding on to? I need another one. Four pentacles plus hers is five. <gasps> the plot thickens. For some of you, you are so focused on maintaining your emotional fulfillment that you don't, not that you don't care, but it's not hard for you to walk away from for some of you it's not hard for you to walk away from people places and things that are not aligned with me feeling good for some of you because it, there is an undertone of scarcity and lack and you feel like you're so close to it like you lived for so long in that lack that you're like i i, I don't want to slip down the hill so i'm quick to get up and go get up and go get up and go maintaining my emotional stability my groundedness in this energy maintaining maintaining the vibe that is like the utmost importance to you. For others of you, there may be an emotional relationship of some kind um, in your head. Okay, like a fantasy, a dream, like how you see something. You're hanging on very, very tightly to that dream, that fantasy, that image of it. Even if you have walked away from people that have shown you they can't show up in that way, it almost look, looks like even though you've walked away, they still um, take up some real estate on your mind or your heart. What's at the bottom? There's that five of fucking pentacles. There's that lack. Damn. Something coming in though. Ace of swords, ace of pentacles clarity coming in communication coming in can i get one more this feels split and i'm not used to reading split um uh, okay queen of cups eight of pentacles page of cups you're doing the work pisces you're getting like a brava 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 pat yourself on the back you're doing the work Page of Cups is a message in love or a new beginning in love or a student. Are you learning? Okay, let me get this straight. Some of you are putting in the spiritual work and emotional work to learn what a healthy beginning in love looks like. Because in the past, some of you had had um, too fast, too furious of starts. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Where it's like... Um, very quick connection, very passionate, spiritual, and fiery in nature, but the emotion wasn't there, and that's become the deal breaker, or the pr practicality and consistency, safety wasn't there, and that's become the deal breaker. Or for some of you, <laughs> um, that du the double whammy of like the emotional support and practicality and consistency wasn't there. It was only the spiritual side or the fiery, passionate, sexual side. Okay, so you're learning what a healthy new beginning in love looks like. Cool, good for you. That is beautiful. Others of you have no interest in romance at this time. Totally understand. I support you. What you've been focusing on is how can I deepen and build my emotional regulation within myself, my relationship with myself, so that um, almost like a rebirth. There's a rebirth of you, a rebirth of um, you. Maybe you went through a, a major cycle change. Um, some of you have like left a career and a home, a group of friends, and romance behind and you're in 
it doesn't have to be in that order though, but you're in a rebirth of, um, I'm, I'm starting new. I'm starting over. I learned all the lessons of all those things. I have to do a major upheaval. So I'm rewriting the story. Also beautiful. Some of you <clears throat> may also be attracting someone slightly younger than you. You could have worked, uh, you could have worked together. You could work together or you met through some type of career collaboration project, etc. Is there anything else? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could be. They don't have to be, though. You're doing good, kid. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Release with that dove. So, yeah, Pisces, four pentacles. If you're hanging on to a mindset, a fantasy that's not helping you, I don't know what that, you know, I don't really know what that means. Uh, I don't want to use the word realistic because I'm now I'm like, that's a subjective word, right? Um, some of you might be hanging on to something that's worth looking at and worth leaving behind. Maybe it served a purpose for you in the past. Maybe it gave you enough optimism to get through really hard times. I think now is an opportunity for some of you. Please don't feel triggered. Um, there's an opportunity now for you to um, no longer create Fantas romanticized fantasy about someone's potential or a relationship potential. There's no longer a need to do that because your 3D everyday world is about to get so much better. You won't need to create optimistic fantasy to move through your day to day. That's something you probably started in childhood, though, to get you through traumatic experiences. Ha the need to have something to look forward to is likely fuel that kept you going. I honor you. I witness you. I see you. I'm so sorry. You don't have to do that anymore. That felt very specific. Um, nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You Listen, Pisces, you're so beautiful. You're so vibrant, connected to Venus. So loving, so enlightened, high vibing. If you're out in the vineyards this weekend, pour a glass, maybe a sparkly one. Pour one out for a high priestess near and far. Have fun. You're really sitting in this um, really strong, independent energy. But I say strong, not like wow, they're in masculine, it's strong like, whoa, they mastered it all. They know how to attract finance through their masculine energy. They know how to create from their feminine energy. They know how to attract through their feminine energy. They know how to create structure, just enough structure to um, manifest career and financial goals, home goals. This is so stunning. It's perfect. You're perfect, Pisces. Say it. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I love this. Okay release being asked to release any toxic people or situations from your life oh my god that's it oh shit oh spirit is drag.com today i love it though this is the calling card are you going to wake up to the red flags the toxicity the people that drain you the behaviors mindsets or belief patterns maybe that you perpetuate that are toxic or detrimental to you things that you don't need anymore oof Woofy, fucking woofy. Give me another one. Dude, oh my God, it's so clear. They really want you to meditate on that. They want you to get really... With this Neptune in retrograde, they want you to take this opportunity to be your own purge. For my medicine folk, can you be your own purge? Of course, if I mean, if you got, if you got plant medicine, and you know, you know what to do. Um, they want you to get still and shed light on the shadow, which is simply like parts of yourself that maybe you haven't let yourself look at completely honestly, or you haven't admitted to yourself. You might know it, but not admit it, right? That's actually usually a symptom of codependency or, or even like alcoholism, alcohol misuse, whatever the new term is, is like a lot of times people know it, but they don't admit it. There's, there's like a, an energetic line, Right. Because once you admit it, you're standing in the light and then you either have to choose, you're either choosing to keep the problem alive and you're aware of it, right? So there's like a, an element of accountability or you're like, I got to, I got to do the work to change it. And that's work. Another nine, perfection, divine path. You're exactly where you're supposed to be, Pisces. 
This is a major calling card. This is going to change a bunch of shit up for you if you choose to accept it. Eight of Swords just tried to pop. So anything keeping you in stagnancy, stuck energy, um, self impro Whoa! Whoa, I'm getting a little spooked. Okay. The angels are speaking. Okay? The angels, angels are loud today. This is your alchemy. This is your plant medicine. You are your purge. This is very, this is important, Pisces. This is your purge. You are your purge. This is the path to glory is through alchemy. If you sit still, they'll tell you how. Okay, Pisces, that was, that was it. That was, that was a message. That was a message. What did I just say? If you sit still, they will tell you. They will tell you what the flag is. They will shed light on it so that you understand it in a way that you can make moves in your everyday life and they will help you heal it. If you sit still, they will tell. What is this? What is this? Now I'm getting like lost in the divine. Thank you, Steve, for my beautiful card. This is a picture of me. Just kidding. <laughs> I love this, though. All right, let's talk about this. I need more. Sagittarius energy, Plutonian energy, major transformation. Pisces, this is, okay, this is it. This is the major transformation. You getting really serious about where am I investing my t time? Who am I allowing into my space? Who am I responding to text messages to? Who am I responding to DMs, emails? Um, who are the people in my life that I know are draining and toxic? And I'm doing the thing where it's like, well, I'm just going to give them a little bit so they don't feel X, Y, Z. This is your permission slip. It's also the calling from the angels to stop doing that. I know that's not, I know that's not easy. They're yelling at me too. I know. I know it's hard, but this is it though. There's something here about some transformation, whatever you're, this also gives waiting. Like you're waiting on something, right? If you've been waiting on something for a long time, maybe this is like, can you just rip the freaking bandaid off? Like they, the thing is the calling feels so loud, but the lesson itself doesn't. This feels, if we're talking about weight, this feels so loud, like, oh my God, I can't miss this. They're really screaming at me. But the thing that you have to do, it actually feels light. It feels smaller than maybe what you're, what's happening in your head or your heart. Okay. The magician, I'm telling you, all major arcanas, right? You see that? You have everything in your power to make this happen magically. Pisces, work your magic here. You don't need to worry about your words. Work your energetic magic here. You, Pisces, influence the room. What are you worried about? You influence the, the room. You influence the energy. What are you worried about? See the white with the red? Taking action with pure intention. If your intention is pure, what are you worried about? Spirit has got you. Double Virgo energies. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, that might be something. One, two, three Virgo cards. Release. All major arcana. This is your higher self kind of begging. Begging, begging. Actually, this feels like they're like a very serious parent when they're like, listen, I'm not yelling at you. I need you to listen to me right now, though. And when you know, you're like, oh, my God, this is like an important thing i have to no jokes i can't make a joke you know that's what this feels like they're like listen this is serious now you're gr you're a grown-up you got this now but you got to do the thing and the thing is so little it's almost like they're like why are you putting it off and now you have to sit in this patiently waiting mode because of yourself five of wands keeps popping up at the bottom of the deck so i wonder if there's what is the conflict here it's definitely internal but what is the conflict? You care about how people are going to feel or you don't know how to do it. You don't know the right way to do it. There, whatever way you do it is the right way. 
you, we can't we can't keep getting caught up on that that cannot be a thing what is the right way to do it check in with your intention is your intention pure then you're you're gonna make the best decision you, you this is a lesson this is also a lesson in trust Pisces you gotta trust yourself to make the right decision and be like what whatever cup I pull whatever's in it I'm gonna I know how to use what I got and my connection to the divine to make it work right you don't need we you don't need tarot cards but these are great mirrors these are great thought prompts to get going right but it's inside you there's like a there is an element of um illusion here Neptunian energy there's illusion here about like is is the way that I choose to us um to assert these boundaries or make these changes is it going to cause conflict or or is it the right way am I making the right choice I think you got to just yep take that leap of faith trust that the divine has got you and you're going to learn from whatever you do you're going to learn from it and you keep excelling Pisces you keep leveling up so like can you let this go can I get one more for this pile what is this thing is it i can't this is like a person that was wheel of fortune damn karma <gasps> you are the high priestess what are you doubting pisces god what are you doubting okay you are the high priestess you trust patterns over promises you are the observer you've got everybody's number right you've got everybody's number six of wands you are successful at doing this. You are successful at this. You are successful at trusting your third eye. You are successful at watching and clocking. You are successful at feeling the room. So what's the doubt? King of Swords all up in your head. What's the doubt? You don't want to be hardened. Ooh, damn, maybe. You either don't want to be hardened or it's hard to be vulnerable. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about? It's hard to be vulnerable about this. Hard to be vulnerable about boundaries. Okay, I'll take that. So some of you feel exposed when you set boundaries or you feel there's some kind of exposure. Yeah, okay, the crayfish. I get this. Being exposed under the light. Cancerian shell. Okay. Some of you have cancer placements. I, I feel you. I get you. Um, you don't have to be scared to be vulnerable. That is your superpower. I know some of you are like mush.com, right? There's gush coming out of you. And others of you have been been through so much, three lives in one lifetime, that maybe you have a harder exterior now. If that seems to be getting in the way, that this is your... Uh, calling card to let yourself be exposed in that way you are successful in your intuition you're successful at applying high priestess energy you don't have to worry worry is not going to move you forward here okay six seven of wands high boundaries high standards there's something else. I'm, I don't know. Let me take from this deck. Seven of Pentacles. Long-term investment. Being patient. Are you being patient with people as they figure their own shit out? I think they're saying you don't have to be. Definitely don't wait. If you're waiting on somebody or something, they're, they're saying do not wait. The people who are meant to be with you are going to catch up. So keep living your life. Keep doing your thing. Mm. Two of Cups soulmate energy and death and rebirth through a perspective looking at all of your romantic and intimate relationships so friendships close family through a new lens death and rebirth death and rebirth something has to die this has to die out maybe you're just so close with these people and you're like, I really, I'm in so deep that this is going to feel like a friend breakup. I know people don't really talk about friend breakups, right? Those hurt. Those are hard. Even if you're the one doing it, those are hard. 
it's the same thing I've experienced with my friendship breakups. It feels the same. You're like, oh my God, I'm like grieving a piece of me. There's days where you're like, I feel freer. I feel lighter. I know this is the right thing. And there's other times where your empathy will get the best of you, right? If that's playing a role here, your empathy, empathy getting the best of you. I, I, I love you, Pisces. I totally get it. But, um, I, and at the same time, that is part of the contrast required for this level up. I understand. It is also <laughs> the contrast required for this level up. You and that person will survive it, will heal it. Your heart will grow stronger for it. Okay. I'm actually going to stop with that. That felt correct. You're allowed to show your soft side. Ooh, that four of swords again. Show that soft side, Pisces. And the soft side of saying no. And the soft side of like, I know this hurts, but what what's happening is hurting me. And maybe it's not a conversation. Maybe this is an energetic shift for you. Right? How are we feeling? Oh my God, 30 minutes. Okay. Get some potential outcomes for high priestesses. Thanks for being here. Yeah, nine of wands. Look at that. This is you moving. Orange is what? Red. Oh, I always do this. Red and yellow. Red, action, yellow, enlightenment. Taking action from a place of enlightenment. This is, I know what's best for me. I don't care how it makes me look. Or you do care how it makes you look and you do it anyway. Right? Neptune says, yes. She's going to mess up my cards. Please don't mess up my cards. Thank you. Oh, it's so squishy, baby. Ooh, three of emotions, honoring every phase of you, trusting that every phase of you, whether you're breaking up with friends or lovers, you're setting boundaries with family members, you are getting real about patterns in your mind that you have allowed to linger for periods of time, no matter what phase you're in, you don't love yourself less, you celebrate yourself for being where you are and being honest about where you are. And pouring into your cup, reminding yourself that sometimes I won't feel whole, but I will always get back to feeling whole. I really thought today was going to be a little bit more of a fun reading. I'm so sorry for the homework. Can I get one more? Potential outcome. Night of Voices. I love this one, Pegasus. This is fly. Fly like an eagle to the sea. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. I love that song. Damn, I gotta play that after this. Something about uh, timelines. This is all free will, right? All these messages... It's you know, if this is your story and it's reson, you know, there's resonance here, that's great. But if it's not your whole story, I'm positive that there's relevance here, right? Take the ones that are relevant and apply that to your life. There's something about timeline hopping through this energetic release. And it's really about accountability and being honest with yourself. It's really about accountability. And that's not a bad thing, not saying like you're in trouble. It's just like, hey, this is the next part of the glow up, the level up, the clean up. Seven of Cups. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Wow, the fool. And the oh, I thought the fool was there. Okay, Seven of Cups. Confusion of choices or what to do. So this is repeating now. Mm, love this. They want you to make moves from your inspiration. It's going to lead you to high vibrational energy, high vibrational friends, abundance. If you've been waiting, whatever this thing that you've had to have patience around, it looks like this comes in clearer or a path towards it. Oh, a path towards the thing that you want becomes clearer. A path towards the thing that you want becomes clearer when you clear up this energy 
No, 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 no. I know. Okay, this feels correct. And that's the car across the street about to leave. Nine of cups at the bottom. I love this. These are these look like um, wind chimes, but they're crystals. And this genie's lamp. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. All right, kids, you heard it here first. This, 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 <laughs> this path will be clear once you start to make these energetic cuts. Trusting your intuition to guide you. Being vulnerable is still strong. Trust yourself to make these cuts for this rebirth. This rebirth is going to allow you to hop a timeline. Big manifestation energy. This feels like a lower level lesson, but for some reason there's resistance on your part. So it might just be something you've held on to for a long time. So your ego is like, no, 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 this is part of us. And you're like, I don't know that it is anymore. You know? Okay. And you know, you know the deal. On the other side, Ten of Cups, there queen of pentacles king of pentacles there there is six of wands high priestess like they're saying you have everything that you need and you're going to get more wish fulfillment might have, you might be getting what you want regardless of how regardless of the path so i think that what's most important here is that you're actually being super honest with yourself about what you're holding on to or where what you need to let go of or do less of doing less of don't get caught up in the how. Okay. If I... Can you hit that like button if this resonates? <laughs> wow. Don't let your past hold you back. South node. Wow. Those old ways of thinking. Those old ways of looking at things. Yeah. Wow. A time for healing. Time for healing. Can you be in the present without coping? Oof. Oh my God. Can you be in the present without coping? Jesus. And expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. This is an amplified new moon. Amplified manifestation energy. For that wish fulfillment. And the bottom of the deck. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. This is manifested love, manifested fair relationship. And if it's not romantic cycle, put it where it goes in terms of like new friends. Maybe you're attracting a new energetic tribe or new, um, what do you call it? New career acquaintances, a new professional network. Can I get a star seed anymore? This felt very practical. I would love some witchiness in here. Thank you. There we go. Called Soul Gifts and Training. It's time to step up. Ooh, let's make it extra fucking witchy, Spirit Set. I love this. When you clear this shit up, you start getting really... You gotta... We gotta act like the High Priestess. The High Priestess would not be like, this boundary is gonna hurt so-and-so's feelings. This The High Priestess says, I can't make it, Period. Period. I, I won't be in attendance. Thank you for the invite. Period. It's I'm not worried about whose feelings I'm hurting by my presence not being there. My present is a present. My presence is a present. I have to be mindful of where my presence goes for me. Right? You're being called to step into an, ener an energetic clearing. So that way, yes, you're going to get your 3D wishes. Right? But there's also something spiritually happening. Your soul gets a graduation. It gets like a feather in the cap or your heart expands. Your extra sensory gifts come online even more. That's just, that just is what it is. The clearer your energy, the more sensitive to your gifts are. So if you've been like, I'm working on expanding my clairvoyance, my clear audience, my clear sentience, whatever. You can meditate with us on Mondays or Thursdays. The link is below to register. <laughs> or whatever your psychic ability is, your intuitive ability is. It gets clearer when you have boundaries. If you already know that you have a gift and you're not implementing self-discipline, that's fine. That's your free will. You can live however you want. But if you know that you have a gift and you want it to get stronger, then you then the only way for it to get stronger is if you do the disciplined energetic clearing. Does that make sense? 
Oh, I love that card so much. One more. Mm -hmm. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense because you're the high priestess. You just say no and don't go. Just say no and don't go. I was invited to brunch today. I'm a beautiful, young, vibrant being. But I don't feel like leaving my cats, so I'm not going. <laughs> it just is what it is. And my friends totally get it. And they're like, you vibe. Bottom of the deck. Yes. The Great Severing. Doesn't this look like Mars? Oh, duh. <laughs> Mars energy. <laughs> Anger, conflict, softening. Ooh, softening to love. Soften to love, Pisces. I love this. Pisces, hold my hands. Let's take a big deep breath in. And on the release, I want you to imagine yourself releasing all these energetic cords, maladaptive coping mechanisms, illusions that are detrimental to your health or toxicity in relationships. Release. <sighs> Sending you Reiki. I hope I see you tomorrow at the full moon ceremony. You can register at the link below. Divine Feminine Healing Circle. We're going to release energetically so that we can attract in our 3D world, our Capricorn energy, money, honey. See you guys later.